Automation is a great way to take your mix or production to the next level. And in Pro Tools, you can automate so much more than just volume. Actually, most plugins will let you automate almost any parameter. By default, plugin automation is off, and there's two ways to turn them on. I'm gonna show you both because it's important that you know where to find all of these settings, but stick around because the second method will have you enabling automation super fast, keep you moving and in that creative zone. So within the plugin window, there are two main sections. Up at the top is the Pro Tools settings, which will be the same on every plugin. And it's where you can save presets, bypass, enable sidechains, things like that. And then below that is the main plugin interface. Let me make a band here. Um, in my case, I'm using a FabFilter Pro Q3, which is an EQ. So we have control of frequency, gain, bandwidth, and a whole bunch of other stuff here too. To turn on automation for plugin parameters, we're gonna go up here just next to bypass, where these two little windows are, and let's click that. It's gonna pull up the plugin automation window. And this list on the left are all of the different settings for that plugin that we can automate. So if we click on command, we can select a few that we might want, click add, and click OK. But this is kind of clunky, and with a list this long, it can be kind of tough to find exactly the parameter you're looking for. So let's backtrack. I'm gonna show you the second and much more intuitive way to enable automation. So when you're working on something and you decide a parameter could use some automation, just hover your mouse over that parameter, and on your keyboard, press and hold Control, Option, and Command, and click on that parameter. You'll get a little menu with the option to immediately enable automation for that parameter. So after enabling automation, hold Control and Command and click on that parameter again. Watch what happens up here in the track lane when I click on the gain, holding Control and Command on my keyboard. It pulls that parameter right up on the track lane so you can jump in and start automating right away. So in action, let's say I'm EQing a vocal and I wanna automate a low shelf when it gets a little boomy, let's say up to 200 Hertz. All I need to do is hold Control, Option, and Command, click on the gain, enable automation, hold Control and Command, click on gain again, and I can jump right in and start making those changes. And let's watch what happens now when I hit play. We can see the automation happening here and affecting the gain on that parameter within the plugin. And that's how you automate specific parameters inside of plugins. Get creative here. You can do this on effects. If you've never automated the delay time on a delay plugin, I highly recommend it. You'll get some pretty wacky results. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.